Today in grammar and throughout this week, we're going to talk about abbreviations. Today we're going to talk about abbreviations for days and months and abbreviations for places. I'm going to do the teaching portion of these two lessons and then I'm going to turn you loose um, for some extra practice in your reader's notebook. Now an abbreviation is a shortened form of a word. Um, abbrevi most abbreviations begin with capital letters and end with a period. So for example, Sunday becomes S-U-N period. Okay, we have a capital S for Sunday, a period that just says there's more to the word, but we're going to shorten it. Okay, February becomes Feb. So let's look at these and see if we can abbreviate each day and month correctly. As we do this, I need to ask the thinking question, is the word a day of the week or a month of the year? Okay, so for this first one, Monday. Okay, how would you abbreviate Monday? Is this a day of the week or a month of the year? Right, it's a day of the week. We would have capital M-O-N period. What would you do with March? March already is a pretty short name of a month. But what would you do to shorten March? Probably the first three letters and then the period. Work through the rest of this projectable and decide how you would abbreviate these. And then I'll show you the answers in a second. So pause the video. All right, did you get these answers? The first three letters, except for Thursday, has the first five letters. Okay. These are always going to be the same. They're always going to have the first three to five letters when you abbreviate days and months. Now let's look at abbreviations for places. Again, an abbreviation is a shortened form of a word. Names of roads, streets, lanes, and boulevards are often abbreviated. So some examples are ridge, and then instead of road, they wrote R, capital R, D, period. Elm, street, which happens to be actually the name of the street we live on right now. Street is capital S, T, period. Lane is capital L, N, period. And boulevard is capital B, L, V, D, period. So your thinking question here as we go through um, these um, places in the examples here um, is, is the word a name of a place? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So number one, notice they didn't um, shorten the first word. It was the lane, the road, the street, or the boulevard. And you can use the examples up here in the box to help you. So wandering lane becomes wandering, capital L, N, period. North road becomes north, capital R, D, period. Pause the video and do the other three, and then come back when you're done. Did you get them right? They're not very hard. Abbreviations are not hard at all. Okay, so now we're going to go to your reader's notebook and get some practice. In your reader's notebook, you will find on page 165 and 166, um, these are essentially the exact same thing you just did and worked through with me on the projectable, except for this time you get to write it in your book. Okay, so on page 165, you're abbreviating days and months. Examples and your thinking question are here for you. And then on page 166, you are doing abbreviation for places, examples, and thinking question is right here for you to do all of these abbreviations on each page. All right, have your learning adult check your work on these just to make sure that you are on the right track.